Hello everybody, Jetpack Buddha here. Welcome back to um, the uh, Super Jetpack Buddha world. We are on a world four uh, in this episode. And you notice that we actually start off with a split path. Uh, now, you can choose either one of these, but I I'm going to go to uh, four dash one because I technically think of that as the original, as the first level. Um, yeah, Wiggler Forest. I'm pretty excited to show off this level. My, like, Mike, little, like, net. I think it's called, like, a pop filter was kind of falling down, so if there was a little just, like, bump and noise, that was why. But yeah, this is a Wiggler Forest. Um, very much kind of inspired by, like, the new Super Mario Bros. Uh, jungle levels. Kinda wish that I could have it with I could have the poison without the nighttime background, but um There we go. Got the first star coin. Probably should have been a lot more stealthy about it. So now I don't have a power up. Yeah, so far so far this looks like your basic. Uh jungle level with wigglers dying for some reason. Um, second part of it is something I'm really excited to kind of show off. And actually, yeah, there's a pretty free star coin if you just glide down here. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, this is the part I kind of wanted to show off. So I made a giant wiggler train, and my pop filter is moving again. I think I'm going to have to screw it back in place. I might do that in between episodes, so this episode might have a little bit of worse quality. But yeah, made like a giant wiggler. Uh, kind of based this off of the giant wiggler level, and... Uh, both kind of New Super Mario Bros. Uh, DS and uh, New Super Mario Bros. Uh, U. Yeah, I think it looks nice. In fact, honestly, I could probably make this, like, spin this off and make it its own standalone level. Because I feel like what I did with it at the moment is too much. And we have a Wiggler, who sadly vanishes once we hit the flagpole. Very sad. And, uh... So, yeah, we have all that stuff kind of cleared up. In fact, I might actually go to the 1-Up house real quick. Oh boy, it's this one. I should be good. Alright, three up, that's fine. Now, uh, next level is uh, a ghost house. This one is actually, like, this one is actually, I think, one of the first ones I made kind of when I got back into the swing of Mario Maker this year. So, yeah. So, as you can see, we have four separate pipes to choose from. Uh, let's go with this one first, why not? And uh, this is based off of the hats from uh, the update that actually happened almost around a year ago. Because <laughs> time flies, I guess. So you have to get all uh, pink coins. Not really too hard of a level. Just, I, I guess the main challenge from it comes from the fact that there's no checkpoints. For this one you need to hit, uh, yeah, the blocks and stuff. Uh, 
Uh, and I guess the next one I'll do is uh, the Bullet Bill one. And uh, there's a little on-off wall here just because um, if, the, if these spikes were turned off, the entire level would just be free. I mean, this entire segment. Okay. Didn't really want to do that, but I guess that is something that happened. Uh, so this one, if uh, you get hit by any of the spikes, you just instantly die. In fact, honestly, this one's probably the most nerve-wracking. Wouldn't really call it hard, but... It's definitely a little unnerving, know knowing that with all the other ones you don't get, like, you aren't able to take a second hit. Anyway, as you can see, we have a little key behind us. Or, I guess, no more because my controller just decided to enter the door. And this is where the padlock comes in. Um, little, uh, director's commentary slash tip is try to run as fast as possible. Uh, because... I wasn't really too sure how to make it, so, uh, the, like, explosions don't despawn. And yeah, that is the House of Hats. Oh, this might be a long video. Uh, it's, I'm already seven minutes in. So yeah, I guess this is probably the point where the super worlds start to kinda... Um... Speed up, I guess. Not speed up. But... Where you have to focus more. I know, it's hard to commentate while there's a, like cannon shooting baseballs at me. We have almost 50 lives. That we're gonna be losing any of them too much. Or at least majorly lose any of them. Uh, this is Tall Trunk Climb. Uh, I've kind of got this inspired from uh, like that like one Kirby, that one level that's in every Kirby game where you just climb up a tree. Like it's an almost any one. And that's a cool concept. So yeah, we can see kind of odd looking bark, I will admit. But. Oh, I forgot about that part. Well, I'm pretty sure we can get Yoshi back. And we get a little beetle to give us some money. Ooh, I like little vine thing. I don't really use vines and blocks outside of, like, making secrets, so I'm glad I asked me did that. Ooh, that was close. Also, uh, this level has Goombrats. I was about to say, I don't know entirely why, but I think it's uh, probably due to the fact that um, they don't fall off platforms. That probably has nothing to do with it. Got plenty of feathers, which is pretty nice. We have a Chain Chomp. It's gotta be something. Yeah, I knew. I don't just have a random chain chomp and then just put nothing there. Ooh, missed the 50 coin. Actually, I'm not even that sure how I get the 50 coin. Maybe like... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. And we have a little bit of a climb to do. And I would like Yoshi back. 
I don't technically need them, I don't think, at this point, but I would like them back, if at all possible. There we go. And we have a little Goombrat to stomp on, and one up. And I think the next level up is one that's that um, is another one that I might have already showcased before. Uh, also, it's I technically consider this one a fortress, but despite the fact that it's like the level right before the castle. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the ancient Super Ball Temple. It's one of the few levels with a um, a clear condition. That's yeah, pretty snazzy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one went up. Oh, and I, I remember this part now. Yeah, you get a bunch of coins, though, I guess. This is, uh, past me was definitely freaking Indiana Jones inspired. Also, you can tell this was made before the update because that little barricade there was made using uh, coins instead of. Uh, P blocks. And. Yeah. Shoot from the top of the pipe and you get the key. Oh, yeah, this is definitely Indiana Jones inspired. Oh, I completely forgot I did this, but that's a smart design choice. Make it, make it so, like, can't just run across, or you can run across the roofs, but it's a lot riskier, and I lost my power up. Yeah, this is definitely, I think I made this, like, level pretty much right after I got the Super Ball power up from the story mode. Because that is how you unlock the power up. And then you get a key, but you can just jump over here. Also, wait, I saw something up there. Ah, oh, nice one up. There we go. I forgot actually how well that level was. I kind of just thought it was just a gauntlet, but no. It has some, no some nice theming to it, which I appreciate. Actually, also pretty speedrunable. And this is, like, I think one of the few times I used a level theme twice, except for in World 8, where a lot of the levels are castle themes. Uh, I used the Mario Bros. 3 pipe theme again. Because I really, really like this theme. It is just so cool looking. Like, look at those like pipes. It's like, if they're small and they make up the ground you stand on, how is that cool? I mean, how is that not cool? Let's uh, see, so yeah, once again, frog sh suit. I mean, it's like pretty much every underwater level has a frog suit. Because I don't really know anyone who likes uh, under, like, maneuvering through underwater levels. I just thought maybe make it easier if people want to. This frog suit is entirely optional. Uh, we have some urchins, I guess. I don't know what I was going for there. Uh, there's a little maze of uh, jellyfish. I think these levels really dries out my voice. And as you might have seen, I went down this pipe because uh, I saw that there's a 50 coin down there, and I collected. That's supposed to resemble the 50 coin in the pipe, but like you can't transfer 50 coins over sub areas. Which is one of the few things about Mario Maker I do understand why they left out, because that is a really specific thing. To have like 
Because I'm pretty sure that, like, in-game, it's only ever been implemented, like, once in, I think, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Or, like, you have to hit the POW block in, like, 1-2 and it unlocks, like, uh... But, like, and it unlocks the star coin you saw earlier. Uh, definitely... And you get a Tanuki suit, I guess. And this is Wendy. Wendy fight, ow. Quite rude. That's world four, and then the next level is world five, and, uh, as you can see, we're so close but so far from the castle. But, yeah, that'll be the little cliffhanger, I guess. No pun intended, because we're in a rock area. But, uh, yeah. On that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys all later in the next episode, and goodbye.